This is the setup I wanted in the front really bad. Uh, 235, 40, 17s, they're Kindas. So yes, every brand has their own scale when it comes to Treadwear, but 380 on these Ironmans and 300 on these Kindas. So we have a square tire setup around with 17s in the front and 18s in the rear. All new sizes for front and back and uh, also higher boost. So that's a lot of things already changed on the car. I'll mess with the PSIs once I get there, but right now it's 40, 40. I know I only got one run in at that spot, but Derek had some issues with the S13. So yeah. First off, what switch turns on the harness? And then I'm gonna try and trace and see what fuse is in there because we would need a 20 amp fuse for the wipers. And I really, really do want to use this harness if i can because that'll save me having to make a harness having to wire everything this is wired through a relay and all that with a switch on it already on the panel so it's like perfect so pretty much what i found out is one switch controls both the harness and a section of my headlamps it's the next day and i figured out how i'm gonna wire the s14 wipers the issue is i just realized i don't have wipers and not just the wiper blades, but the wiper arms. So because one switch binds together two relays, I gotta pull the switch panel, pull out the connector, we gotta separate them. Main power, this is ECU, gauges and then where these two merge and split together is what we need to disconnect and turn into two switches instead of one
when I hit the switch, I, I retain that same light switch as the headlight tail light. So ECU gauges headlight tail light. Yes, it turns them on, but those aren't all the headlights. Now when I hit this one, which is going to be for the wipers, it's going to fill in the rest of the headlights, as you can see. We're going to disconnect those headlights, and this is also activating the wiper harness. It's just not in use right now, but that's the difference. The wiper motor is a 20 amp circuit, and our harness has a 10 amp in it. So I'm going to change out that 10 amp fuse on the fusion relay panel for a 20 amp. Now we have to test the motor, see if the motor is going to turn on. The noise is this right here. Oh, well, it's quiet now. But you can see how hard it is for me to turn this. It shouldn't be like that. One in good condition or better condition, you can see how easy it turns. The actual linkage is not making any noise. I didn't do much. I soaked it in an ultrasonic cleaner and sprayed it a bit, but it was still making noise, but I let it sit for like a day and now it's just, it's still tough and it's still a little bit tight, but it's not making the squeaking sound, which is good. All right, one thing I'm worried about is if I put a wiper right here, obviously it's gonna be going over my banner and already just from testing it out, it's messed up this part, the L. It doesn't cover a lot, but obviously I can probably get a bigger wiper blade to put on there and it'll be more than enough. Then I don't have to worry about the passenger blade going over my decal and damaging it because I test fitted that blade and it already damaged the decal. Surprisingly, the blade, even though I have no idea how old it is, works really good. It doesn't squeak, it captures all the water, so that's really good. This is the location of the filter, super close to the tire. I mean, very close. And if we drive this in the rain, which I've been stuck in the rain a couple times, that filter gets very, very wet. Not super wet, but it gets damp, and damp is enough for the car not to run the way it should. So this filter cover is gonna help us a ton What the, does this stretch? This might either be super perfect or really bad. <gasps> what? Dude, this worked out so perfect. What the heck? That looks so good. That looks really, really good. Wipers are on, harness is cleaned up. Now I just need to tidy up some other things. This table. And once that's done, we're going to drive the car. And then I'll probably get one running and then we can leave because that alarm is fucking sketchy. Yeah.
really goddamn ballsy because I just did one run. This spot has some alarm going off, so I didn't want to do too many, and it's pretty crowded because it's like five in the morning. I kind of sent her like super, super hard. I just came in in second and just ripped the handbrake and just went around. And then pretty I- Pretty drift car in a, in, a, in a working drift car. Oh, yeah, we, we uh, I took a U-turn over here. You'll maybe hear it in the video. I I'm gonna head back to the shop. It's like five in the morning. Uh, I just need to get a feel for the car. I mean, it's driving good. I'll hit the spot again with a, a bunch of my guys when we have like spotters and everything. Cause it's it's so early that it's starting to get crowded. Like right now, there's a car like about to drive by. And I'm not gonna lie, it's been the same car like five times. So I think it's time for us to uh, time for us to head out. Guys, me and Sebas were so tired at that session. That was such a hassle just trying to get one single run in. Because it was so early in the morning, there were a lot of cars coming to work because a good time is like 2 a.m. Once you get closer to four and five, people are actually starting to wake up. Business owners are actually starting to come in early and get their day started. But I ended up coming around and I got, I got ballsy, dude. I got so ballsy. I ended up coming around, continuing the manji, and then I drifted into the section. And when I did that, I was just kind of in my head like, dude, whoa, you're sending it. In terms of how I handled that line, that run, I thought it was terrible. You know, uh, the entry, I got more speed this time since I'm doing a handbrake entry and not a clutch kick. I got more speed and that felt pretty good. Starting off, it felt really good. The problem I'm having is I can't find, well, I can, but I was having a lot of trouble finding a rhythm uh, when it came to Manji in the car. It could be a million things, but there's no point worrying about that. I need more seat time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We got wipers on, we got the air filter, cars ready to drive in the rain, new tires are on, we're drifting more. I'll see you guys soon, peace.